Hey guys, Vizello here. So, there's no doubt that Breath of the Wild is currently the flagship Zelda game on the Switch. No game really comes close. I know that there is other games in the Zelda series that's on the Switch, such as Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition, but when it comes to actual, like, game, not, not spin-offs, the only game right now is Breath of the Wild. And with Breath of the Wild's success, we may actually be seeing another Zelda game appear on the eShop library relatively soon. And I don't mean necessarily a spin-off, I mean that we could be seeing a full new game. So in this video, I want to talk about the different possibilities and just speculate on what we're going to see. I also want to talk about the rumors, if there's any leaks that's been going on, which, spoiler alert, there's been pretty much nothing. But I also want to talk about the different possibilities of games you could see. This is all, of course going to be based on my own opinion, so if you have your own thoughts, please let me know them in the comments. But without further ado, let's get into this. So, like I said, there's pretty much no new rumors or leaks saying that a new Zelda game is in production. And that is kind of expected, because Breath of the Wild is only one year old, almost a year and a half old at this point. And the game is very, obviously, Breath of the Wild took a very long time to develop, so the team's probably, had, probably took a nice long break, because after developing something that big, you're gonna probably be very tired. However, even though that there hasn't been any new rumors or leaks saying that we are going to see a new Zelda game on the Switch, there is some evidence pointing towards a reasons of why we might see a new game on the Switch that is in the Zelda series. So with the Switch's success, obviously Nintendo is going to want more games on it, and 2018 right now has been quite a dry year for first party games on the Switch. We haven't seen a whole lot, and especially E3, while there was a lot of big hitters like Smash, there's nothing that's, that's not nearly as diverse as 2017. So perhaps for 2019, Nintendo is looking at different games, or even beyond that, more games that they can add to their roster to announce at E3. And also, the Zelda series after Breath of the Wild is bigger than ever, and now there's more anticipation for a new game than ever before, and with more and more people buying Breath of the Wild, buying more Zelda games, they're becoming, we're getting more fans to the series, so there's more and more hype and more anticipation for a new Zelda game building up. So, although there hasn't been any new rumors or leaks saying that we're going to see a new Zelda game, I'm pretty confident that we're going to at least see a spin-off, another spin-off besides Hyrule Warriors, or maybe something like a remaster or something like that. And I want to go into more detail on that. So, when it comes to spin-offs, you can really, Nintendo can go in whatever directions they want. And I want to talk more about that. So, when it comes to spin-offs, you can really go in whatever direction you want. When it comes to full games, however, you usually have to follow what you built up the series as. So, Breath of the Wild set a new standard for the Zelda series. And every game from now on is going to have to, at the very least, take something from Breath of the Wild after Breath of the Wild's massive success. However, if it's a spin-off, you can really do whatever you want, and I feel like we are going to see more spin-offs just to show off more creativity. So, we may see a game that's as creative as something like Hyrule Warriors, which Hyrule Warriors was something that I feel like came out of nowhere. But I feel like it's a spin-off that a lot of people liked, and I think that the concept is sounds, sounds really fun. I haven't tried it yet, and if I were to try it, I probably would get it on the Switch. But that's besides the point. When it comes to actual more spin-off games, not counting Hyrule Warriors, which is a port from the Wii U, there's not really much we know, but really Nintendo could go in whatever direction they want. We could see a strategy game, for all we know, from in the Zelda series as a spin-off. I have no idea what we're going to see, but I feel like spin-offs are the most likely. Something else we might see is a remastered version of a previous game. So, the Wii U and the 3DS especially got a lot of those games. The Wii U got a remastered version of Wind Waker, while the 3DS got two remasters of Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Now, when I say remastered, I'm not talking about just porting a game over. I mean actually remastering the game like Nintendo did in the past with the 3DS and Wind Waker. So, it wouldn't be incredibly left field for Nintendo to remaster an older Zelda game. And I think they would probably even go farther than the N64, maybe even back to something like the SNES with uh, Link to a Pass, which I feel like remastering that in 3D, which has actually been done before in Unreal Engine, if you just see what they did there, you'll probably be impressed and just imagining what Nintendo can do with that if they actually decided to go for that. That would be amazing to see. Just imagining the graphics that game would have and the style of it, 
it's it, I have no idea what Nintendo could do with remastering, but they could go as far as they want. Just looking at the graphics of that and just imagining what Nintendo could do if they even added on to that. I just, I really think that we are going to see a remaster though. Based on the 3DS and the Wii U, we're probably going to see something along those lines. But let's talk a full, actual game. So when I say that, I don't mean an actual remaster or spin-off. I mean something in the series. Another game in the whole Legend of Zelda series. But let's talk about a full game. So this is the most unlikely because this would be the hardest to make. And although I do feel like Breath of the Wild already is a very amazing game that already added on to that, we might be seeing another game in this series on the Switch. We could. But let's talk about a full game. So, when I say full, I mean something along the lines of Skyward Sword and Twilight Princess Big. And I don't know if Breath of the Wild Big, because Breath of the Wild was a whole other project on its own. But something along the lines of Skyward Sword and Twilight Princess. This is the most unlikely, just because this would be the hardest to develop when compared to a remastered or a spin-off, but it's still not completely out of the question. In 2016, Miyamoto said himself that after the delay of Breath of the Wild, the team would be taking active steps in the future to make sure that games do get done on time. Basically meaning that after Breath of the Wild, if they want to go for something more complex, it'll probably happen more quicker. So if we were to see a game that would be maybe a half step between something like Skyward Sword and Breath of the Wild, as in like size, it would probably come out quicker than Breath of the Wild, of course, based on it's not as big, unless it even is as big, which is completely unlikely, then it would come out quicker. However, this is all just speculation, and this is the most unlikely, like I said, so I really don't think we're going to be seeing another main game in the series for the Nintendo Switch. I think it's either going to be spin-offs or remasters. I think remasters are the most likely, though. But of course, as always, those are just my opinions, and if you have your own thoughts, please let me know them in the comments. I hope you did enjoy this video, and if you want to check out my social medias, I'll have them linked in the description. I appreciate every single one of you for supporting my channel, and if you are new to my community, you can feel free to subscribe to join, but it's totally up to you. I'm never forcing you to do anything. Just watching this video is already plenty. But again, I hope you did enjoy this video, and see you.